What is going on everybody and welcome back to another one. Today we're doing something a little bit different, something that's becoming more and more popular over the past few years I'd say. Um, it's called High Bid. It's an online auction site where you can bid for our local auctioneers that I've seen around. I've seen a bunch of my local auctioneers switch over to it. I've seen people buy stuff from auctioneers out of state and they ship it to them. But then there's a catch to that. You gotta pay shipping prices obviously. and they're not resellers like us, they're auctioneers, so they don't know pirate ship and other things. So I've heard some very horrendous shipping stories with some things being $200 to ship it to them. And it's just no way that should be that much. But luckily, the auctioneer I look at on this site is about 45 minutes away from me, and that's what we're gonna go do today. Found two great items that are gonna pay for all of our stuff, and that means the rest of our stuff is pure profit. So stay with, stay tuned, and let's get right into this pickup. All right, here's mostly everything from today's little high bid pickup. Um, Spent $321, and let's get right into it so you guys don't think I'm as crazy as it looks like I am. All right, first we're going to start off with this Bud Light sign. Um, it came in a lot. Pop a picture up of what the lot came with. It also came with a radio, I think. And uh... All right, so this is the lot that the Bud Light um, sign came in. And I kind of thought after the thought about this, and yep. We paid five dollars for this with the beer sign so even if the beer sign doesn't work out we got that and we got this this is the tube radio so yep cuckoo clock but the cuckoo clock's a little messed up but that's okay but it said this was as is so i was kind of thinking the clock didn't work and i wasn't getting a bit on it but then the more i thought about it i was like just do it it was cheap i think it was like four or five dollars for the whole lot and when we get it back Right now, it's just missing a plug, which is no problem at all. If you couldn't tell already, one of my niches is beer signs. So, I fix beer signs that don't light up, need plugs. If the clock doesn't work, I'm not that good yet, but we'll get there eventually. We'll learn some things along the way. But right now, if it just needs a plug, I'll pop up comps, obviously. It needs a pretty good cleaning. The base is off, but I mean, that's just four screws on the back that go in, and that's nothing, so... We'll get this cleaned up, get a plug ordered, and see what we can do with this. Next up, we got this Super Bowl Champions Green Bay Packers, dated 1997, Super Bowl 31. This was super clean, um, Delta Tag, made in USA, 50-50. Um, we paid $9. Um, everything on here is 14% buyer's premium. Um, that's just what the auctioneer charges, so that is already added into the 321 total. This is super clean, even though we did have to pay $9 for it. Still think it's worth it. Super, super cool. Then next, we got this Minnesota Vikings logo athletic. We got this one a little cheaper. I think this one was like 5 or $6. But again, super clean. Um, this is not made in USA, but still vintage. Probably late 90s. That one was 97. This one probably might be 97 to 99. But super cool. Next up, we got a mix of lots. I think there's two or three lots in here. But... We're going to start with the hats, and I just want to clarify, earlier I said it was about a 45-minute trip to the auctioneer because some people had to pay shipping on high bid. Um, thankfully, I do not, but it is 45 minutes round trip there and back, so we'll add that into the total. I think it might have been $10 worth of gas, if that, but we'll get started on this lot. Just a couple hats. We got this Denny Hamlin FedEx Racing, super clean, new era, what is that, 940, just super clean i don't remember how much i paid i'll pop it up and then we're taking away from the total like i said earlier and again another denny hamlin i mean these barely look worn so i mean that's always good they're not super killer hats i mean probably 10 to 12 maybe 15 dollars then this one came with it you know me anything alcohol related we're gonna sell it because that's our niche a nice jim beam bucket hat i thought that was pretty neat now, some of these lots, I only saw pictures online, and I've yet to look through them, so we're kind of going to look through them together at the same time, but we got some Penn State lots. I did attend Penn State for a few years. We did not graduate, unfortunately, but 
we still rep them and we sell college sports apparel so that's what but first seagram's canadian um honestly these probably sometimes some seagram's things will go pretty good online but i mean mugs you know how it goes sometimes the shipping costs more than the mug itself so usually i just put these at my booth for like six to ten dollars maybe probably this one might be six to eight bucks got this nice nittany lions what is that robinson oh roseville roseville pottery usa penn state nittany lions that won't probably be for sale not a big pottery guy got this cool budweiser can koozie i'm guessing super sick just just a little penn state thing you know not everything in the lot will be super valuable or super sellable but you know if i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it if i'm gonna sell it it just adds to the profits Little activity book and got some sports illustrated i mean like i said we're in pa so penn state homeschool for a lot of people um even if i put this stuff out of my booth it'll definitely sell this is a cool sea cushion. I'll just get this out of the way. It's inflatable. I'm not going to put my mouth on it, though. It blows up. I actually have one myself. So, that one's obviously going to be for sale. Can't beat a construction helmet. Just got to get cleaned up a little. Yeah, it's coming off with the nails, so just got to get clean. You know, not everything is going to be perfect, ready to sell. You're going to have to put some elbow grease into it sometimes. I thought this was pretty neat. I'm probably going to keep this. Again, needs to be clean, but set it down. You know, put your Doritos in there, your Cheez Its, whatever you feel like. Penn State Monopoly. Looks. That looks pretty complete. I mean, everything rubber banded. That's awesome. Now, let's see. I'm trying not to spill it. That'd be great. Got some pins, got some miniature pennants, felt style. Like these, these are easy to ship, unlike the big pennants now. Just cost a lot. Got some Penn State. Favorite two teams. This one might have to go to my buddy Huey. Huey, if you're watching it, he'll probably get it. Got some more. I mean, uh, all together for the two lots, I think we did pay $40, but I mean, that's okay because I did want to keep some of the stuff, but even at $40 for resale, I think it's pretty good. I mean, obviously not all these are Penn State pins, but, you know, look at that. That's old school, big boy pin. There's another cool one. Is that maybe a little coaster? I'm not sure. It's felt... Well, happy holidays. Let me know some other stuff. Finishing up on this little line. Just got a nice little magnet. Some coasters. They're pretty beat up. I don't stick in. Pin is connected. Oh, that's sticky. More pins. Nothing crazy. Bank pins. Penn State helmet mug in the box. That's pretty cool. Koozie. A couple mugs. These will probably go to the booth. Alumni Association bag. Mug. These are nice. A little soft. Probably handmade. A Penn State cutting board. Definitely used. I mean, one of these things. I'm not sure what it is, but that's going to do it for this little lot. We'll get on to the next one. All right, we got a little more of the Penn State lot left. Um, got some more cool pins. Um, Penn State, we've got multiple ones of these Penn State football ones. I think these are pretty cool. Back the Lions. This one, I thought this one's probably, you know, I'm going to keep the Lions probably just do a little Nike. I haven't seen one of them before. Just another Penn State. 
Um, this I thought was also pretty cool. We got some postcards from Penn State. Um, you know, just some cool little things. Can't forget about the collectors who are just getting in to everything. Some decals. We got jersey napkins, coasters, Coke bottle. And we got this nice Penn State hockey shirt. This is a giveaway, I'm guessing, because it has some sponsors on the back. So you probably had to go to the game. So that's pretty cool. And it has one of the Penn State football pins on it. But now we're going to get into the lot. Next up, here it is. One of the items that's going to pay for over half the cost today. Only paid $10 plus 14% buyer's premium for this. This is vintage Levi's and Strauss denim jacket. Comps up to $200. I mean, this is very, very clean. Made in USA. Look at the tag. Style code. You guys can check it for yourselves. But this is just a super clean denim jacket. And only pay $10 plus 14% buyer's premium. What is that? Like $1.40. So we paid eleven forty for this. Probably cheaper than any thrift store would ever have this at. So that is a steal of the day. Next up, I guess we'll go with this little clock here. New Haven Family Drive-In Diner Clock. I think this is like a $25 to $30 clock. Um, haven't tested it yet. Um, looks like it is kind of roached out inside. But I mean, I have a lot of these laying around. They're not easy to switch, or I mean, they're not hard to switch out. They're easy. Um, obviously, it needs a little cleaning, too, if you can see that. But pop up what I paid for it, I forget already. But there's that. That's pretty cool. I like clocks. Got some nice ashtrays. These are pretty cool. This is, really wasn't why I bid on it, but was that? Wedgwood. Made in England. Ramada Inn. Feister Hotel. Can, I'm not a don't know how to pronounce that, but got that. But this is why we bid on it. Seagram's Canadian. This is a nice big one. Um I sold one before for like ten to twelve dollars. And I mean Seagram's pretty good. Maybe I might even lot that up with that mug we got earlier, and then shipping would be worth it for the buyer, probably around three pounds for both of them. Next we got some nice, very clean. Now that I'm seeing them in person, Harley Davidson bandanas made in USA. I think we paid $18 for this lot, 18 to 20, and we got all these. Um, not all of them are Harley Davidson, unfortunately, but I think most of them are. Where Harley Rose made in USA, very very clean. I mean, like, I very highly doubt if most of these were used. I mean. You can see how, like, stiff they are. Like, they're nice. American Eagle. I mean, I definitely think we got to steal on these. That's made in USA, too. Starcraft. These are so cool. Harley Davidson, this one's a little used, you can feel it, definitely feels different, but I mean, look at the graphics on that, looks like it was sewn, actually, that's unfortunate, but still such a sick, I don't know, bandana, hanky, whatever you want to call them, I'd frame these things, these things are so cool. This one's ripped too, so this one probably won't be anything too crazy. Well, nice Indian, I think. Cowboy, yep. If we get it the right way. I mean, I said most of these aren't Harley. I mean, looking at it, I mean, they're pretty much mostly Harley. That's the thing with high bid. I mean, if the auctioneer is not going to take good pictures, he kind of might get some good luck. He might get some bad luck. Fortunately, this one, Miller, so there, but still, awesome graphics. These things are so freaking cool. Made in USA too. Ooh, that's that's cool graphic. Like I said, guys, I'm looking at most of these for the first time as well. So I mean, I just I just like these this kind of stuff, Mickey. Does have a little sew patch too. This guy really was like 
Look at that. I mean, maybe they're made like that. I don't know if they're made like that. Let me know. I haven't really seen it, but man, the graphics are just so clean and the pop. It's like no sun fading. But yes, yeah, it's Starcraft I Main USA. Another one of these. It's just like barely even used, probably. I mean, one of them still has the tag on it. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe some new old stock stuff just sitting back with a motorcycle shop, mess with the best. This one's brand new with tags. This is a Harley. Just so clean. Bandana. Lot number. I mean, again, I, mean, I think we paid 18 to 20. Super clean. Look at that. So clean. I mean, obviously, you got the stitching there, but still. Well, do that one. Wow, that, that, that graphic. If, if it was not sewn, unfortunately, that is just so cool. So I guess I did pretty good on this lot. I mean, most of them were Harley Davidson. I mean, it said Harley Davidson bandana lot, but I mean, not many pictures were shown. So I mean, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And I guess we won this time. Um, got some comics. I don't think there's anything special in here. These are all like new gen versions. Um, I just got these. I think we paid 18 for this too. Um, these all go to my booth. You know, just something. Sell a lot of comic books down there. Bring some attention. You never know what else they're going to find. So we're going to get this cleaned up and get the next lot ready to go. Next up, I guess we'll start with the beer signs. We got this one, $5. Miller, MZD, Bolin, Steerike. Got that. Got brand new Bud Light Platinum. Still in the plastic, you know. Got some Miller, MZD. Um, I was actually surprised at the pro comps on this one. This is very, very thin sign. I mean... When you're there, usually this long. They're usually thicker because, like, I mean, it's just so flimsy. But I think it's like $60 comp and none listed. Only one sold in the past two years. So we'll see. Um, now we got sports cards. Yes, I do sport car sports cards. Um, am I know it all at it? No. Do I know some stuff? Yeah, I'd like to say I know a little bit. But. Am I telling you guys to go buy all the 80s and 90s sports cards that are on your local Facebook marketplace? No. Am I telling you to go to Walmart and buy retail of the newer sports cards? Absolutely not. They're outrageous. But what I am telling you is just to learn a little bit about it. Because you can make some good money. Now this one, we took a shot in the dark. Because, just because I saw this. 2000. This is Topps. Football 50th anniversary. We can see that. 50th anniversary. Now, these are team sets. I saw in the pictures. Now, if you don't know about 2005 team sets, it has one key rookie in it. Obviously, there's probably some more that I'm missing, but the one key rookie I know of is Aaron Rodgers. So, I haven't looked through this yet, but if the Aaron Rodgers card is in there, I'll pop up comps of what it is raw. If it's in good condition... Who knows? I doubt it. These look like they were just put in there. So, condition, probably not a PSA 10. But, even if we can sell it raw, I think we paid $18 for that. Find the Aaron Rodgers card. And then, they're already in team sets. So, I mean, I have to do nothing but just sell team sets from 2005 Tops. Which really wasn't a terrible year. And then, obviously, we got some more. We got Kobe, MJ... Cliff Floyd, just some, some of this is junk, 
like Frank Thomas. Now, if this you find this card without Frank Thomas's name on it, that's the one you want. That's an error. That's a true error card. No name. Griffey. Is that David Robinson? Just a bunch of random stuff. But I mean, for eighteen dollars, I was willing to take the chance to find an Aaron Rodgers rookie. And if not, we have a bunch of team sets to sell. And we also got some Dale. All these complete sets, like this old stuff. I saw a bunch of the junk wax, like, locally. You can sell sealed junk wax still. But, I mean, obviously, I mean, this is still sealed, but the plastic isn't around the box, so. But even local, probably five bucks a piece, maybe. I don't know if we have big hockey people. I'm not a big hockey person so you asked me about hockey i have no clue 1977 baseball digest who knows this could be two three bucks probably we got the centerfold next up we got this nice little hunting lot why did we pick up a hunting lot do we hunt yeah we do do we like it heck yeah we do but there was something in here that i guess could be a bolo for some because i didn't even know about it I've been hunting my whole life, and I mean, obviously, some things are worth a lot, but this surprised me. We bought this whole lot for $30, and you're like, probably like $30, that's crazy. But this right here, Lee's Champion Gobble Box, um, very clean, I mean, it sounds, sounds great, I mean, little wear, but popping comps up right now, and I mean, the sell-through rate is crazy like 200 percent i mean and that's just because there's probably so little out there but that's why we bought this lot super surprised when i saw that i was like no way so we got that and i mean just to add to that i mean this is probably 10 to 15 dollars that's probably 10 to 15 dollars i mean that's junk um, probably got five bucks here got some calls hey i can always use hand warmers so we're gonna keep those i get cold in the woods beanie face mask i mean all this stuff adds up i mean you tell me what this sounds like guys but i mean that ain't no deer call i ever heard before but that's what that sounds like but these other ones these sound pretty good so i mean we got some good sellable stuff and we got this big leopard i mean this thing's huge as you can see it's sitting on a shelf but i don't know if we're gonna ship it or if it's gonna go local pop-up comes but we also got that today but that is going to do it for today's video. Make sure you guys let me know if Hybit is worth it. Obviously, I don't have to pay for shipping. So it's a whole different scenario when you have to add shipping costs into things. But make sure you guys check out Hybit in your area. You never know what you're going to find. So make sure you like, subscribe. We'll be back. A bunch more treasures to find out here in PA. Catch you guys on the next one.